all right all right yes welcome back to this channel thank you very very much for always staying us and for joining us on this channel for this video also back to back to back to back black stars videos and everything exclusive content on the senior national team the black stars and everything for more of these for more exclusive content on the black stars analysis videos everything please do all well to subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and also like this video for us and leave a comment below it's very very important make sure to leave a comments below let me hear from you let me hear your thoughts on the content of this message um this video what is your thoughts on what we are about to discuss now we are discussing seven players that missed out on this blaster squad for the september friendlies um, against brazil and then nicaragua you know um, the ghana football association or the technical team of the senior national team the black stars released the blaster squad 29 man squad for the friendly games between brazil september 23rd and then nicaragua on 27th of september and then we are about to look at some players, some key players, Blasters players doing very well in their leagues and all of that. Who have missed out on this particular um, squad? So let me hear from you in the comment section. What are your thoughts? Do you agree with us? Do you think that those players do not have a place in the squad? And so we should stop making noise or whatever. So let me hear from you in the comment section. It's very important. Thank you very much for joining once again. Please do want to subscribe. Now the first player we'll be talking about is Benjamin Tekpete. Benjamin Tekpete has been doing very, very well with his team, Lodogorets Rasgat. Now, <laughs> Benjamin Tekpete, this season, 2022-2023 season, has played five games and scored, um, has played seven games and scored five goals as a right winger. But yet still, he's not in the squad of the senior national team, the Blast Blast, for just a friendly game. So, the pe people have been asking questions. Ghanaians have been asking that why is Benjamin Tekwete not in this particular lineup because he's been doing well in Lodogores Rasgard. But look, he's a right winger also. So what is the competition would have faced? Would have faced competition from the likes of Osman Bokari, who is also doing very well in Serbia. Would have faced competition from Jordan Ayu, also doing very well. Um, at least uh, um, 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 he's been playing for the Black Stars and been doing very well for the Black Stars. And so that, that gives him the nod. So... Benjamin Tekpete, do you think he should have been part? Who would he have re um, um, sub substituted him from the squad? You get it? Which player in the squad would Benjamin uh, Tekpete have substituted him? Now, the next player, a very surprising player for me, for me, is Joseph Pencil. And I tell you this with all honesty. Joseph Pencil, I don't know why. I don't know why he doesn't get... Look... Is it is it a preference of the coach? Because it looks like since Otuado took over, Joseph Pinzo has not been getting the nod um, in the Blaster squad. Even if he scores, he doesn't get the starting or he doesn't even play at all. And it surprises me because the player is doing very well in Belgium, KLC Jank. Look, this season alone, he's played seven games as a ringer also or an attacker. An attacker, not a striker. Seven games, three goals, one assist for for joseph pinto and it still baffles me that he didn't even get a, a call up to to for, for this particular friend list let alone playing and i'm saying that even in the past with otuado when he calls him he doesn't play him he just doesn't play him and i don't understand if it is a preference of the coach or what let me hear from you what are your thoughts do you think joseph because look in the 2019 work um afcon Everybody who watched that Joseph Pencil guy saw that he's a quality player who adds a lot to the senior national team going forward or in the attack. So it surprises me that um, in this particular friendly squad, he's not even in the squad. But I think that finding a place for him would also mean that the likes of um, even a free banner will be out of the squad. And so, but I think that definitely he should be he should be in the squad. This is a friendly game. We could have scored, we could have caught 30, 31 players and all of that. So I don't know why Joseph Pencil has not been in the squad. Now, the next player is Salis of Lens. Salis Abdul Salis and um, Samed Salis. He's also a player who was with Clement Ford in France League One, moved to Lens also in the League One, and he's doing very well. As a midfielder, but with Samed Salis 
His problem is that he's a defensive midfielder. And with a defensive midfielders, look, even Wakasu didn't get a call up. <laughs> yes, of course. So, with a defensive midfielders, we have Thomas Partey, we have um, Baba Idrisu. And if it's not injury of these two players, definitely these two players will get a nod over Salah. Salis. So, Ghanaians have also been saying that Salis deserved a call-up. What is your take? Do you think that Salis um, Summit of Lens, playing very well in Lens, also deserved a call-up in the Blasters Friendly Game squad? Also, Mubarak Wakasu, I mentioned his name. Wakasu Ghanaians are saying he is not in there. If Wakasu is in, problem. If Wakasu is not in, problem. Now, people are saying that Wakasu just secured a deal to Belgium, Ilpin. To play a one year loan there, and so he they don't understand why Wakazu is not in. And you know, Wakazu has also been a pr the preference of the coach. The coach called him for the for 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 um, I think uh, Afcon qualifiers. Yes, the Afcon 2023 qualifiers we played with um, um, Central African Republic and and them. So people were thought that look, Wakazu had a stay a place in this particular squad, but Wakazu is also missing in the squad, and Ghanaians have been talking about him now one or another important player is um, ashimeru majid ashimeru look majid ashimeru is a player that even for the black stars world cup squad um asamojan came out and said that look this player is the best midfielder aside thomas Pate we've got and so he deserves a call up to the cedar national team the black stars but Ashime, Majid Ashimeru, they didn't join the Black Star squad again. So, I don't know. I think that, look, if you look at the performance of Majid Ashimeru, in, he's also in, in Belgium. He's also doing very, very well. At that midfielder, he can be creative, he can be a defensive of a sword, he can even play as a right, as a right winger. So, he's a versatile player who is going to add a lot to the senior national team, the Black Stars. But yes, still. The coach, Otuado, and the technical team don't see the need to call him. And so, Majid Ashimeru also did not make the squad in this one. And Patrick Pfeiffer, the last player. Patrick Pfeiffer. Am I a defender who was naturalized? Yes, in July, for to play for the senior national team, the Black Stars, a defender, lower tiers in Bundesliga, um, in, 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 in Germany. He also did not make the squad. And Ghanaians have been saying that, look, he deserved the score up after, after, after naturalizing for Ghana and all of that. All right, all right, yes, I'm sorry. I just, you know, the point is that Jeffrey Schlopp is part of the players that made it seven. So when I said seven players, Jeffrey Schlopp, also um, not seen in the squad and Ghanaians have been asking the question that why is Jeffrey Schlopp not being called up for the senior national team the blaster so do you also agree that Jeffrey Schlopp should have been called up because he's doing very well in Crystal Palace playing day in day out Jeffrey Schlopp can play as a right winger can play as a midfielder he's also a versatile player who deserve to be in the Blaster squad. At least, look, the point is that they deserve to be in because it is a friendly game and there is no cap for the number of players you can call. You can call as, as many players as you want. And then you see their performance and all of that. So, Ghanaians have also been asking the question, why is Jeffrey Schlopp not being caught up for the senior national team, the Blasters, and for this particular friendly? So, I don't know if you have comments on that also. You can leave that below. But asking people asking the Ghana football associations, they say they keep saying that Jeffrey Schlopp have not availed himself for a call up. Jeffrey Schlopp, um, if you call him up, he decides not to come and all of that. I don't know how true that particular um, news is, but the information is that um, they keep saying Jeffrey Schlopp has not availed himself for a call up and so um let's see how things go over there. But Jeffrey Schlopp was also part of the players who were not um, part of the squad for the Brazil friendlies and the Nicaragua friendlies as we bring you. Thank you very, very much for staying with us and for joining us on this channel. Always a pleasure to have you. Do well to subscribe, hit the notification bell, like this video, leave a comment below if you have any. I will be very happy to hear from you in the comment section. Thank you very much. Bye bye.